how to save pattern layers to your assets panel in Affinity Photo. So I'm just gonna create a quick ellipse. It could be anything, it could be type, images, whatever. Go to a layer and then go to rasterize. You need it as a pixel layer, that's the key thing. So rasterize, then you go to a layer and then you go to new pattern layer from selection. And you can see now you've got a lovely pattern layer. And I'm just gonna remove that. And also what you can do, if you go over here to the move tool, select that with the pattern layer selected, you can then go up here to mirror. I know it doesn't make much sense with a circle, but if you're using a design maybe that's slightly more irregular, then it's probably more useful to have the mirror option set. So once you've done that, you can save it to your assets panel. So just go over here to the right side menu there and add from selection. What you can also do, you can go to your layers panel and you go down here to maybe effects, click there and maybe go for 3D. So just set a 3D effect, close. You can also save that to your assets panel as well. Simply just go again to that side menu there and add from selection. Also what you can do, you can go to a layer and new layer, filter layer and you maybe go for distort, maybe go for 12. Just then re-change those settings, the angle and radius, and you can also change the origin point. Once you've done that, you can also save that to your assets panel. So just go over here, right side menu, and just go down to add from selection. Now, you see I've done something wrong. Because I didn't have it selected, what you need to do is make certain that layer is selected. So again now, go to add from selection. So you've got your design there. Now I'm just gonna remove that again. And simply what you can do to use it, simply go over to here, select it, and just drag across. And you can drag it across again. So you can add multiple designs and they can then all be tweaked. And you can see as soon as you go over here to layers, just expand that out, you can see you can then select that one. So double click that, bring the panel up, and you can just change it. So you maybe go the other way, maybe change the radius, maybe change the origin point. Also maybe go and change the blending mode. So you can run through different blending modes Go for maybe difference. So you can just see, you can change that. And of course, then, oh, what you can do, you can select that again, and then you can go over to the assets and you can save that if you want. So just down there, add from selection. Also what you can do, if you want, you can select all of them, and then you can go to a layer, merge selected. So they all end up being merged into one single suit. And however, it is still available as a twirl. So you can again, double click there, and you can just go and change the twirl there. You can see you've got a very unusual design then. Close that. And you can see you can still go up to the pattern layer and you can still click on here. So you've got still effects and you've still got your 3D. So you can always remove the 3D if you don't want that. Or maybe go up to add another one, Gaussian blur. Just blur it a bit. Or maybe change out of shadow and so on and so on. So you can quick add a number of different options there and it's all still live, and it still can be saved to your asset panel. So if you like the design, what you can do, simply just go over here, right side, and add from selection. And that's it. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.